Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Let's have a look at what's in the box. Oh, mine. Oh, uh, it says Tim. And this one says Tam. Hello, Tam and Tim. Hope you're both okay. I've put in some treats for you both to try. Also, I've put in a present each for your birthday. Thank you. Hope you both like them. Enjoy, you be. Uncle Brian. You must know our birthdays are coming up. Yeah. Tim's and my birthday are a week apart. Want to have a look at the present first? Ooh! Oh! Interesting! Well, you do your oh my oh. gosh! <laughs> oh! What are you? Oh! Oh! It's like a kitty cat top. Is it pajamas? You could actually wear it as pajamas. Hello. It's pretty big, but I think this would be good to sleep in. What's yours? Awesome. Uh -huh. Oh. Uh, boss. Oh man, that's <laughs> so not true. Are yeah, you the boss? it is spot on. Thanks, Brian. Because I'm the boss. Oh man, Brian, what have you done to me? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So let's do a UK taste test. First up, we're going to try some crisps, and these ones are from Walkers. They're Sensations Limited Editions. There's two flavours: baked cheese and honey. Oh yum! Roast pork and apple. That sounds really good. So let's go for this one first. I really like the colour. Look at it, it's very classy looking. Yeah. It's got roses on it. It's why? got gems in the roses. Why? Because it makes it seem like royalty eat these. Oh, they probably the do. The Queen probably has these. Baked cheese and honey flavoured. Oh, I think I'm going to like these. It's a thin cut chip or crisp. Oh. oh, interesting. Yeah. It's a limited edition. Mm. This honey is quite surprising in it, isn't it? Yeah, I've never had something like this before. I've had ham and honey before, but not baked cheese and honey. Yeah, but the honey is really honeyish. Like mm. a, just like you've got a spoonful of honey mm. and just taken a sip. It's nice that's though, because you know like when you have a cheese platter and you have like a chutney or something and that's sweet and it goes mm. quite well with it. Mm. So the flavour combination works really nicely with that salty and the sweet. Very nice. I like these. Do you want to try these yeah. ones? My side. Tammy side. Roast, uh, roast pork and apple this time. Mm. Give you guys a look. They look just like the other ones. Have a smell. They smell Oy. piggy. No, it smells mm. apple -y. Apples. Wow, there it is. My side. Yum. You don't like it? No. Maybe we should have a second one. Try that one. I haven't even finished my first one. I don't like those. Is it the apple or is it the pig? It's the pig <laughs> with the apple. <laughs> very porky flavoured. Yes. And it had very sweet aftertaste from the apple. Mm. I don't mind it because it's really different. It's something I've never tried before. Yeah, okay. not a fan of those ones. It's too piggy for me. Okay, that's, that's understandable. <laughs> Good. Diva. Godiva. Godiva? Godiva? Or is it Godiva? So, Comment below. How do you say this one? From Belgium since 1926. It's signature chocolate, roasted almond, dark chocolate. Yum. Eight mini bars inside. Have you had this type of chocolate before? We've had Godiva chocolate before, but not this particular okay. one. Doesn't that open nicely? And wait, wait, wait. It keeps going. How beautiful! Oh. They're little enveloped chocolates. I really like that. Do you? Yes. Mm. We'll just share one. We'll open it up for the people out there. There you go. Oh, that's Look adorable. That. Can you see? It's hard to focus, isn't it? We get three little pieces each, Tammy. So you can actually see the roasted almonds inside there. Mm. I made a piggy noise. It could be a leftover from the crisps. Mm. <laughs> do you like that? I do. It's one of those cold tasting chocolates. They are very, very nice. Mm -hmm. Your side. It's a nice smooth chocolate. Mm -hmm. The dark chocolate has got that nice bit of bitterness to it. And then the little crunches of almond in it. There's not a lot of almond in it. It's like little tiny chopped up batterings of it. Well, I like how you do that. Mm. Awesome. Oh, Thank you, Brian. Show them how it reseals though. There you go. Look oh. at that. It's Walker's Sensations again, and they're naan chips with lime pickle. That sounds really nice. When I have my Indian food, love pickles on the side. They're really, really hot ones. Flavoured wheat snack. These are crackers. Oh, wow. Wow, good wow oh, or bad wow? Instant salivation. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, let me show you 
These little beauties. That's Tammy's crabbing sound. All right, I can taste a little bit of spice in there. Have the mint and coriander writer with it. Like dip it and in dip it. Dip it with it, it would be yeah. perfect. They actually show it on the back there, mm. the little dip. It's quite um, bitey, got a bit yeah. of heat in it. Oh, hello, yeah, here comes the heat. Because mm. I didn't get that at first. I got sweetness at first, and then it turns into spicy and chilli. Mm. Mm. I like them, very nice. Whoa, the heat's building up on me. I can taste a little bit of coriander in here. Mm -hmm. um, Oh, there's another spice and I can't name it. It's on the tip of my tongue, literally. I've got a list of ingredients here. You can taste lime in it, mustard, sugar, yeah, chili, pepper, powder, ginger, coriander. Now there's something else in here that they're not telling me that's in there, but they're lying. They're why lying. They, why it's are they there. lying? I don't know why they do that. It's got cumin powder. Cumin! That's it. Cumin powder. It yeah. also has turmeric powder. Ah, right, yeah. That's what I can taste, the cumin. So you're going to take back the lying part? I will. I wonder why you didn't see it. First thing is turmeric powder, then cumin powder, then fennel powder, then chili pepper powder, and okay. then ginger powder, and coriander powder, right. and lime oil. I can't be bothered to get my glasses. Oh, you couldn't read it. I couldn't see it. Do we forgive her? She's going to do a food review. She should have her glasses on. But then it's like constant. Dong, 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 dong. I can't see. That's the other sound she makes at night. <laughs> Next up, we have something sweet. And these are from McVitie's or McFitties. You know, we're not saying this correctly, by the way. Comment below. Tell us how wrong we are, please. Blissfuls. Blissfuls. They're Belgian milk chocolate and hazelnut. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that sound delicious? They're in a little resealable pack. Oh, have a look at the picture on the back. Let's hope it looks that good inside. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Very, very good likeness to the picture. So you could put that on the front of a V-dub. <laughs> I have a cup of tea to go with our biscuit today, our cookie. It has a pussy cat on it. Yes. Yeah, Courtesy of Brian. Yeah. This is amazing. Put up beverage in and it turns into a picture. Did you say beverage? Beverage. Oh, yum. That's so yummy. Mmm. Yeah. How good's that? See this? I've got them. I've got them. They're nice, aren't they? I like the crispness of the biscuit base. Mmm. It's a crunchy biscuit. Mm. That chocolate hazelnut cream in the middle there is absolutely delicious. Lovely and chocolatey, hazelnutty, smooth. Mm. Well right. done, McVitie's. Oh, look at that. That's weird. I saw that little sign there and I wasn't sure. I thought it was a, a Mason okay. sign, you know, like a Mason. That's a McVitie's sign. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Ended on my side. Mm. Gosh, I hate making mistakes like that. <laughs> Highly recommend those ones. Yum. Golden Wonder, and it's a six pack of crisp, three different flavours. Okay. What are they? We have cheese and onion, a beef and onion, and we have chip shop curry. You can win a, a experience voucher. Do reverse for detail. You just got to go to London to have it. So get out the three flavours. Oh, bingo. Which one appeals to you the most? Onion and cheese. No, I reckon the beef and onion. All right, beef and onion first. Cute little pack. There they are, the beautiful little crisps inside. That's nice. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. I wasn't looking forward to the beef one, but it's all right. Mm. Mm. Nice, nice balance of flavour. I was about to say that. It's a nice balance, isn't it? Here, have another piece. You know what's good no, about... No, not two, only one. <laughs> you know what's good about this? The salt. Yeah. It's got a real nice heap of salt in there. Golden Munda. Mm. That sounds a bit dubious, that Golden Munda. Why? The name of the company called Golden Munda. What's wrong with Golden Munda? Cheese and onion. Yep, that's a chip. Hello. Cheese and onion, this one, Tammy. Thinly sliced chip. Mmm. I like that. It's a nice, solid flavour. That is something that you'd have on a regular basis. Mmm. Very easy eating. Mm. You like it too because it's quite salty. <laughs> you know, I think I like the beef ones better than those amazingly. Yeah, I agree. So far the beef are winning. Chip shop curry flavour. Oh, look, they all look the same. Should okay. put it up here and turn it slowly so it looks really Oh fancy. yes, do that. Give them a closer look. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm. 
I actually like all of the flavours in this pack. I don't know whether I like the beef and onion or that more. I think I might like that more because yeah. it's different. I like them all. Mm. It's got a curry flavour, but it's not a strong curry flavour. It's very subtle, mm. but nice. Mm. Leave a comment below if you've tried these crisps before, Golden Wonder. Let us know what you think. Uncle Brian has sent us two packets of gum, and this is extra white gum, melon mint flavour. They're both melon mint. Yeah. One for my handbag, one for your handbag. For clean white teeth. <laughs> your chips all over all right. you. Oh, hello, I've got them all over my pants. <laughs> Let's open it up. It's got a little tab there. So you just go like that. And you're in. Like magic. Oops. And then, see they're little tiny, tiny ones like that. Little pillows. Thank you. Now, Tim, make sure you get rid of it before it gets weird. Oh, yum! Mm. That has a candy coating on the outside, and then you bite into it and you think, melon and mint, get out, and then you go, yes, mm. it's good. It's refreshing, isn't it? Mm. How can they say it's for clean white teeth? I think the idea is because you actually should be chewing gum to get your the saliva working after you've eaten something. It's good for your teeth, I don't know. Because mm. they wouldn't have whitening stuff actually in it. it does say they? extra white. I don't know. What's happening in the world of chewing gum? Mm. When we finish, we'll see if our teeth are whiter. Mm, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, hon, you're so good looking. <laughs> Tim has a horror story about a little kid and chewing gum. It was lunchtime. I was walking down the Parramatta Mall and this little boy was running in front of his dad and he stops, bends over and picks up this blob of chewing gum off the ground, puts it straight into his mouth and starts chewing it. His dad freaks out and says, no, come here, come here. He grabs hold of him, trying to get him to spit it out. He says, spit it out, spit it out. The little kid's gone, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> He couldn't get it out of oh his my mouth. Gosh. Oh, oh yeah. no. Worst nightmare. This is a really nice gum. Nice Nicer than what I thought it was going to be. Pretty exciting. Hmm. Hang on, I'll put mine on. Mine's an extra large struggle. one. What size are you, Tim? Size 8. Small. Size 10. Small. It's good. It'd be good. You could wear that to bed. Thank you very much, Brian. I really like my shirt. It'll come in very handy. I love the logo on it. Probably should be an arrow that way, though. Thank you so much, Uncle Brian, for sending us all of these amazing UK treats. We really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And thanks for the shirts, too. Yeah, thank you. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a great week, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. You do like it, don't you? I can tell you do. It's a pretty kitty. The shimmy kitty. All right. Thank you all. Bye.